I am so thrilled that we are doing a spring try on little preview haul. I actually have quite a few coming up, but we're going to do a very well known brand for my YouTube channel, which is, of course, Abercrombie and Finch. Um, I will go on ahead and tell you a little bit of a backstory. I had a gift card for my birthday and I set it aside and waited because I knew I wanted to make this video. So I already have quite a few behind me. I have a couple tops two pairs of bottoms, um, and then a coat that just was on sale that I decided to get. So this is their definite spring, early summer lineup of swimwear, shorts, tops, bodysuits. I got it all. So we're going to go through all of what Abercrombie has for spring and summer. All right. So here is outfit number one. I'm starting this off with a really good note because I am in love with this bodysuit. So it's this beautiful mint green color. It did come in a couple shades of like tanny nude colors and also a black and a white, but I really love this mint green color. It's very on trend for spring, summer, and it is in a size small, which I typically go for in bodysuits. I don't like things being super, super tight on me. I do like a little bit of stretch to it. The fabric of this bodysuit, as you can see, it's not exactly a cotton. It's a little bit thicker, so I would call it more of a spring sweater type material. It's very breathable. It's not going to get you hot and sweaty. It is just perfect for the changing seasons, and it's in this beautiful color. And now the jeans. These jeans are so fun. I'm going to actually stand up on a stool so you could get a more of a detailed look of what the jeans look like. So as you can see, one side is lighter and the other side's darker. This is very on trend for spring, summer. I've seen these in shorts. I've seen it in like the button down shirts where one side is a lighter color than the other. I am in my regular size, a size two regular. These are the mom jeans. They're high waisted. They are, I will say this, they are a hundred dollars, which I feel like that's a little bit overpriced in my opinion. It's a really thin denim material. It's not the same denim material of like the winter jeans I purchased. These are a little bit more thinner, which is good for spring, summer. But the fact that they're $100 and the quality like of the denim is thinner, it just, it doesn't stick well. So um, I just really recommend trying to get these on sale. I know they run a lot of sale promos. If you could get these marked down, then I would recommend it, but I wouldn't recommend paying full price for either piece. Honestly, none of these. Don't buy anything full price. Abercrombie's always pushing sell promos. All these items, honestly, are going to be on the sell rack in a couple weeks. So just watch for a good deal. I'll have everything linked below, of course. And then there is a special sale coming up really soon through the LTK app. I'll have all the details below as well if you just want to go on ahead and save some of the tabs and get it ready for in a few weeks then you could get a really great discount that way but let's go ahead and do outfit number two so here is the next top it is this button-up shirt in a white color now this does say on the website that it's an oversized fit and i i 100 percent agree it is very oversized if you just see how it looks on me this is the size extra small so if you wanted it to be a little bit more fitted Definitely you're gonna need to size down cause this is my typical true to size and it is very oversized. I pulled the sleeves up cause I, I would wear it like this probably if I keep it, but the sleeves when they're rolled down, you can see how long they are. So it definitely looks like a men's button down shirt that I am wearing. I like how light it feels. It's a very soft, light fabric. I think this is gonna be really breathable and nice for the spring and summer. I'm just wondering if it's a little too baggy on me where it's actually not gonna look good. It looks like I'm, like my husband said, it looked like I was wearing a shirt from his closet. So let me untuck it so you can see actually how long the shirt is and how much fabric is tucked in right here. So this is actually how it looks. This is how big it is. And there's how long it goes down. So, it's up to the customer. If you're really into the big oversized look, you're probably gonna love this shirt, but if you wanted something a little bit more tailored, a little bit more cut and made for a female figure, this might be a little too mitt of a menswear type look for you. Now, I wanted to show you guys these two t-shirts. 
I have already worn this one a few times, I'll be honest, but I love it. It is so cute. It looks really adorable tucked into shorts and jeans. And I just love the colors. It does have that like really pretty mint green and that soft rosy pink color. It's just a fun vintage style graphic tee. Highly recommend their graphics, especially in this really soft t-shirt material. I did buy a plain white t-shirt and it's a little bit more menswear boxy looking than what I was expecting because the two shirts side by side, this one's a little bit more like, it's just a little bit different. It's a little bit longer and it cuts off a little bit differently, but I'm going to try this one on right now because it was only $19, which is such a steal. I'm on the hunt for a nice basic everyday t-shirt that could tuck into jeans and maybe this is the one. So I'm gonna try it on real quick and show you guys. But here is that white t-shirt. I do need to steam it right here. You can see where it was folded up and put in the package, but it's actually a really nice comfy t-shirt. I actually love these sleeves being a little bit longer like this. Now let's see what it looks like tucked into jeans because that's pretty much how I'm gonna be wearing this shirt is tucked into jean shorts and denim pants. And it's tucking approved, very cute love this in fact i'm gonna look online and see if this comes in a couple other colors i would love this in a black and maybe like a like a spring color because i think that would be really pretty all right so here is the white bodysuit and the dad shorts now the white bodysuit i am in a size small which is typically what i go for in bodysuits from abercrombie and the shorts are in a two let's talk about the bodysuit first because every time i touch my like stomach area I get a cooling sensation. This material is so unique. It is literally cooling to the touch, which I think is gonna feel fantastic this spring and summer to have some sort of fabric that actually feels very cool on the body. So it is true to size. It has a lot of stretch to it. And like I said, it feels really good on. It came in a bunch of colors. I highly recommend investing in a few of these because they are in a good price range. The material feels really nice. They're not see-through at all. This is the white, so this is what you would actually see colors through, and it looks pretty good. Now let's talk about the shorts. Here are the dad shorts in a size two. It's in this beautiful light wash. I love the length and where these cut off at. I am really into longer shorts. I don't really care for cheeky shorts. So these are the perfect length for me. My only complaint about them is they are a little bit loose. This is my true size in the Abercrombie jeans and they are a little bit big on, but if you're into a more oversized pair of shorts, you like them to be really relaxed fitting and not skin tight, stick with your true size. But if you do want it to be a little bit more fitted in the waist area, you may want to consider going down a size. I will like to point out that the men's shorts are all button fly. There is no zipper closure. And I'm also a little bit on the fence with this whole design at the button area where it's kind of doing like a V shape. Some people might love it. For me, I wish it was more even. So as you can see, like the way it like V cuts, it kind of goes right here instead of in the center. So I'm a little bit unsure if I like that. It could just be because these are a little bit loose on me or just might be that that's the style that I'm not really into, but I do love the color of the denim. I love how soft the denim is. And I also love the length of where these shorts cut off at. So I'm gonna go ahead and say it. This outfit is a major win. Let's just dive right in with the bodysuit. Of course, it is in a size small, fits true to size. It's in the same material as that white bodysuit. So it kind of has a cooling sensation, which I really like on the skin. And it's in this gorgeous burnt orange color, which you guys, that is the color of the season. If you are wanting to be on trend with what is the colors of the season, burnt orange, some bold yellow tones, also that mint green, that lilac color, those are on trend. So this bodysuit is perfection for style. In fact, I think it was even on clearance, which is another major win. So if it's available, it'll be below in the description box. Of course, um, I do want to point out it is a deep V both in the front and in the back. Very pretty for summer. I think with a nice tan glowy skin, this would be very pretty. And now let's dive into these shorts because I am obsessed. This, you guys, is your Zimmerman dupe for a pair of shorts. If you wanted the nice seven inch shorts in either white, black, or khaki, here they are. 
Regular price are $60. I got these on sale for $40, so definitely be paying attention. Abercrombie does do a lot of sale promos, but these are the perfect Zimmerman Love Shack Fancy Style dupe if you're wanting a really nice pair of shorts that look very tailored and could be dressed up or down. I'm in love with these. I'm going to look and see if they still have my size available in the black or the tan color because I'm a huge, huge fan. And I'm surprised nobody has mentioned these shorts. I was expecting some of the influencers and content creators to already be talking about how these are a designer dupe, but no one's mentioned it. So if you are on the hunt for a really good pair of shorts that look high end, here they are. They'll be linked below. Here is the next look. I'm a little bit on the fence with this one. So I'm going to be relying on some opinions if you think I should keep these two pieces or not. Starting with this bodysuit, I was really excited for it because it did come in a bunch of colors. It was brand new, fresh cut, new arrival, and it was called the corset bodysuit. Corset trends are very in this year. You're going to be seeing in a few minutes the swimsuit that I picked up that also has that bra-like detailing in the top of the swimsuit, and that is the look. So I was really hoping this would work out. I'm on the fence for a couple reasons and I'm going to show you right now. First of all, I was hoping these little darts for the bars of the corset would be actual bars to make it really structured and tight fitting, but it is just the way that it's sewn, which is understandable. This is supposed to be a like more of a fast fashion piece, so it's not going to be made at the highest of quality. And I also am not sure about the top area. This hangs really, really low, which to me makes my chest look like my boobs hang kind of low. So I'm not really sure if I like where it's cutting in certain places with these corset style body suits. Typically you do need to put a little bit of money in them if you're wanting it to be very figure hugging and look very flattering on. I think for some people, this will probably fit great, but maybe for my body frame and structure, it is making it look a little bit like a saggy boob situation. So I'm a little bit unsure about that. I was, like I said, hoping that the darts would also be in the back and they are not. I kind of feel like that makes it a look a little bit more cheap because it is supposed to be a corset. So there should be bars here, here, and then at least one or two back here to give it that really tight structured look where this should be pulled up more. And then it would be that more like really tight corset look. So not really sure. I do have the tag on it. So I paid, I paid $45. With taxes, you're rounding it up to like $48. So I'm not really sure. Like I said, it is fast fashion. Abercrombie, um, you're not going to get the ultimate fitted luxury looking pieces from time to time. So this is one of those pieces that it's going to work on some, might not work on everyone. Let me know what you think about it. On me though, I do love the color. I just wish it was cut and structured a little bit better. And then the pants are a men's wear pants and I do have a pair behind me. Let me grab them. I do already have these in a white color. I'm obsessed with the white ones. I think they're very pretty for spring, summer. In fact, it would look really pretty with this color of brown beige top. So I may need to look and see if they just got like a V-neck bodysuit in this color since I'm not sure about the darting of this one. But um, I was already figured out their sizing is a little bit weird in these pants. They are very, very long and very, very baggy in the leg. So I ended up going for a extra small short in these, even though I'm 5'5", five five, I went down to a short because I wanted them to cut off right at my ankle. These black pair are also like that. So let me show you on the little step ladder how they are looking on the legs. So here is those black pants. They are a very light fabric. And like I said, the way that these are cutting, they are, right there at my ankle, which is where I was wanting them. You could stick with your regular length. So you don't have to go down to the size short if you're 5'5 five five like me. You could just get the regular length and roll them up. That's how I think they were wanting you to style them is to have them either really baggy at the ankle or roll it up one or two times. But for me, I did not want to roll them up. I did not want to get them hemmed. So I just went on ahead and went for the shorter length. Now these pants are kept the tag on these because I wasn't really sure if I need another pair of pants since I just showed you I have two pairs already 
These are $69, which isn't a bad price for a pair of dress pants that you could wear from office to date night to errand running, depending on how you style it. You could wear this with a graphic t-shirt and make it very casual, or you could dress it up with a more formal top or a blazer and wear it in the office. I do like these. Of course, you could get these on sale as well, and they do come in a lot of other color options. I just popped back into these jeans to show you how this bodysuit will look in a more casual outfit, which I think is very cute. I do like it. I'm just not sure about the whole like details through here. I wish they were a little bit more different. Um, on the fence still about it, I may just end up returning it and trying to find this color and a different style of bodysuit that I know will fit me the way that I like it. But here is what that looks like on with the jeans. Now I wanna try this popper coat on and show you guys because it's very interesting and also, all of Abercrombie's outerwear for holiday season, like winter, autumn, winter pieces, are all on clearance right now at really deep discounts. And this is one of those pieces that's at a deep, deep discount. So if you are on the market for shopping for next winter's coats, coats are one of those things that never go out of style. Trench coats, blazers, puffer coats, they're always on trend. So you could go on ahead and stock up for next year. Let me pop this one on and show you what it looks like. Here is what that puffer coat looks like on it. It is a more cropped fit. They did have some that was even longer than this, but I love it because it is faux leather and it does have a oversized look. I went to a size small. I could have done an extra small and it probably would have been more fitted, but I like the idea of that really oversized look. It was on the runway, so super oversized puffers like Chanel and all the other luxury designers were doing it. So I was trying to channel that type of look. And then of course you could wear it buttoned or you could have it kind of like loose like this off the shoulders. I just think it's really cool. It's a really edgy piece and it was on clearance. So definitely consider their clearance area if you're wanting to get any of those winter pieces for next year. So sweaters, cardigans, coats, even sweater dresses and maxi dresses for the winter season next year. You could go on ahead and stock up at a really deep discount. I will have this coat as well as some other pieces linked below just in the additional section if you're curious. And now I'm going to talk about the swimwear because this is a very interesting subject. I'm a little bit upset with parts of the swimsuit, so let's talk about it. So here are the swimsuits. I'm having to return them all, but I will say one of them fits, but I'm having to return it because the other piece doesn't fit. So let's talk about the bottoms first. Here is the Abercrombie Moderate Fit Bottoms. And I'm so glad they did come out with something this year that is called Moderate that's not as cheeky as the ones that they have because I tried Abercrombie Swimwear last year. In fact, you could go on my Instagram and I have some photos in the white bikini that I purchased from them. And it is very cheeky. And for someone that lives in the Florida Panhandle, we get families on the beach. We have a lot of kids, things like that. And I just, I'm the type of person that I wanna be appropriate on the beach. I don't wanna be like that one with all of it hanging out. So whenever I tried these bottoms on in the size small, I got both extra small and small. I'm typically a size small because I do like this swimsuit to sit on me. I don't like it being squeezing tight. So it does fit very true to size. I recommend going to a size small if you are a size two in the pants because you will like the fit and the comfort level of the size small. But when I put these on, they are a beautiful pattern. Very pretty pattern. I love it. It's perfect for spring. Like I said, you got that beautiful mint green and that really soft pink color that's very on trend. And florals are really cute for spring, duh. So I was a big fan of this swimsuit bottom. It is $35. And I felt like it was an okay price. So I was already on board with keeping the swimsuit until the top situation happened. But I did just want to show you guys what the moderate fit looks like. And I will do a cutaway of what it looks like on my body if you wanted to see kind of like how the swimsuit looks on. Here 
is the reason why I am not keeping the bottoms. I cannot justify keeping the bottoms without the matching top. And Sally, both tops did not work out. I bought a small and an extra small. Typically in Abercrombie swimwear, I'm an extra small on the tops, but I wanted to grab a small just in case and it just is not gonna work out. So with the small, it just is a little bit too big. I think if you are a, I'm a 32B, 34A. The regular size small in the swimsuit top is gonna be way too big for you. So just go on ahead and not buy it because it will be too big. So my size should be this extra small. And if you've seen in the little cutaway video a few seconds ago, it just, it fits weird. And I went on Abercrombie's website to read some of their reviews and to leave my own review about how I feel about this top. And someone said it just sits on the body, even with the underwire bar, it just sits. It doesn't support or hold anything. There's no structure to it. And I 10,000% agree. It's a very cute concept. It's supposed to be that bra-like swimsuit top. Like I said, that's very on trend this year to have that more like corsetti bra style in your tops and swimwear. But if it's not gonna do the bra type work, as in hold everything in place so it can look very flattering on, then it's just not gonna work. It's structure wise, there's some things missing with this. Um, I feel like there needs to be a little bit more support in this top, because as you can see, the fabric just kind of droops down. There's nothing there, no padding at all. And they did take the time to do this like special detailing right through here, but there's nothing holding it and supporting it to let you see the detail because whenever you put it on, it kind of hangs and it sags really weird. And I was just hoping a little bit more from it. Also where the straps are here at the top, they have done a lot of extra work doing some unique uh, draping but it doesn't sit straight. It hangs off to the side. And it just like, like the girl said in the review, it just lays there. So whenever you're moving your arms and your body, it's moving along with your body and not supporting everything. It just slides right up, slides right down. So I was a little bit bummed about that. I also wish it had the actual closure in the back, the metal hook, because this type of closure just slides and pops. And that was one of the hardest things I was trying to figure out. This type of swimsuit material is very slick and soft and it just slides right off. So you can tighten it and get it around here. And then whenever you're trying to pull it around your arms, it starts to loosen itself. So I just had the hardest time with the swimsuits. And like I said, I was in love with that bottom. It fits perfectly. It looks good. I love the color and the pattern, but there's no tops on their website that has padding in it in this colorway for me to be able to say, I'm gonna keep the bottoms and I'm gonna buy this top to work with it. There's a lack of versatility and a lack of options available. If you go to like websites like Airy, for example, a swimsuit top in a certain pattern like this will have like nine different styles. They'll have everything from padded to no padded to the triangle cut to a tube top. And they'll have so many different style of bottoms from classic bottoms, cheeky, Brazilian, moderate, high-waisted, low-rise. They'll also have a one-piece and they'll have multiple one-pieces in that style of pattern of fabric. So you can have options if you want a deep V or if you want just a classic one-piece. There's so many options available. So if you are on the market for swimwear and you want to stay in that very affordable price range, I would consider retailers like Airy over Abercrombie for swim again this year. Now Abercrombie used to do some killer swimsuits back in the day. Back whenever I was working for the company, I still have some from like 2016 that I could wear right now because it's made so well. But the past two years, their swimwear looks cute in the stock images, but once you get it on your body, it only is gonna work for like a handful of people. Like it's just not really out there for everyone, so. A little bit bummed out. I do want to tell you the price of this is $50, which I think is a little overpriced because even Aerie swimwear is, you know, 35 at the most for a top and you have padding, you have some more versatility to the pieces than this one. So this was $50 and then the bottoms I said was, <clears throat> let's see, the bottoms is 35. So you're spending a, like right under $100 for a swimsuit two piece set when you could just go designer and get the more 
fit and structure that you're looking for in your swimwear. So I'm a little bit bummed out about this. I'm hoping maybe they'll come out with some more styles later in the summer. Maybe after these first batch of reviews, they'll go back to the drawing board, maybe add some padding in for the end of summer pieces, and I could try another swimsuit again in the future. But if you are on the market for an Abercrombie swimsuit and you're okay with this type of bra top that just slides around, the moderate bottoms are really great. So definitely recommend these, don't recommend this. All right, you guys, so that is the Abercrombie Spring Preview, Spring Break, Early Summer Fashion Haul. Uh, I do have a lot of other videos coming out really soon of some other fashion brands. Like I said earlier in the video, I went to Instagram and some of you guys recommended me some really great clothing brands out there. So I will be doing some more videos of some other brands soon. Now with this haul, it sounds like to me I'm on the fence about this and this, but everything else is pretty much squared away that I'm keeping except for the swimwear. I will have everything linked below, including the swimsuit, even though I'm not a fan of it. Some of you guys might be really into it and want to see what the other style options are available in those swimmer cuts. So everything will be linked below. And as always, if you're not following me on the other social media handles, give me a follow. Let's hang out. And then last but not least, don't forget to like and follow here on YouTube. Thank you again for watching and I'll see you guys really soon. Bye. <laughs>